Hi ladies, it's Dawn and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to come on here today to do my October favorites. Um, I have quite a few favorites. I'm gonna to try to speed through them and not take too long. If there are any things that I show you you'd like to know more about, ask me in the questions or comments and perhaps I can answer your question or do another video on that product or whatever it is that you'd like to know. So anyway, I'm gonna get right to it. The first things that I fell in love with for the month of October is a brand in general, but I only tried a couple products from the brand. It is Honey Bee Gardens, and I've tried their lipsticks, and I have two of their eyeshadow palettes. One of the palettes I got in September, and one I got in October, and I'm wearing it today. I'll start with the palette first, and it comes in this little cardboard box that is recyclable, and it has a magnetic closure. And this is the, the Honey Bee Gardens Rock the Smoky Eye Palette. And look at the colors. They are very deep, dark colors. Um, but you don't have to make them look very deep and dark if you don't want to. Today I have on this purple shade right here. And I have it on my mobile lid. And then I have this gray color called Chrome up above it and above in my crease and above my crease. And then I have the black color called Fallon in the outer V, in the inner V. And I have this white on the inner corner and right beneath my brow bone. And I did align my eyes a little bit beneath them with the purple called Chivalry. And this is what the palette looks like. I'll put the price of this palette in the description box and I'll link the palette. Um, I was looking for a palette that was a smoky eye palette to replace my conventional smoky eye palettes like my Urban Decay smoky eye palette. I have um, some smoky eye palettes from Clinique and I'll still use those just using a primer over my eye a natural primer um, But I really wanted to start experimenting with other brands that are all clean So I'm so happy. I found this one I've been using it a lot in the month of October and I really really like it a lot and it's vegan It's gluten-free. It's cruelty free. It doesn't have any bad ingredients. It is um, I think it gets an almost perfect rating from the EWG website. All natural and eco-friendly. So there's that. The next thing I wanted to show you were the Honey Bee Garden lipsticks that I have. I have four of them in the month of October. They retail for $13 and one came with a gift for as a gift with my eyeshadow palette. So I just purchased three more. And um, after using the one that came with the palette, I was able to select the color and I chose the color San Francisco and it looks like this. It's a shimmer and it is a mauve pink that's so pretty for any time of year, but it's a really pretty fall mauve color. And these wear like a lip balm, but they have the coverage of a lipstick and they're long wearing. They're gluten free and they're vegan. So those of you who are gluten free and vegan, the, this would be a great brand for you. Um, they have organic oils in them and it's all clean ingredients. They keep your lips very moisturized and they come in mattes, frosts, and shimmers. And you can get a set too. When you purchase uh, their lipsticks, you can purchase them individually for $13.99 or you could get the Perfect Pout set for $19.99, which comes with the lipstick and a coordinating lip liner. So I don't have the lip liners yet, but um, because I don't typically wear a lot of lip liner, but um, if you do like to have lip liners with your lipsticks, you could just select the Perfect Pout set for $19.99. And I think that the prices are really good because um, a lot of um, these, these organic brands, their lipsticks range in like the $20 range just for a tube of lipstick and this is a little bit closer to a drugstore price so i really like these this color like i said is called san francisco and a subscriber friend of mine connie had told me that this color is a little light on her but she likes to use this one as a topper on a darker shade and you could certainly do that too but i have very very pale pink lips so i think it shows up a little bit better on me the next color is called heirloom and it looks like this it looks pinker on the camera than it is this is how it looks on my hand there you go you can see 
and it is just a beautiful rosy color. It's really pretty, and I like to wear this one when I'm not wearing a smoky eye, when I'm wearing more of a neutral eye or even like my Tarte Toasted palette. I think this complements that very well. So there's that one. Let me go ahead and swatch San Francisco on my hand for you as well. So there's San Francisco. You could see it's considerably lighter than heirloom. Okay, and this one is called Thoroughbred. And again, this is another rosy shade, but it's more orangey than the heirloom. It's a brownish, they call it a brownish pinky nude. <laughs> so I don't know, it just looks like a great fall shade to me. But you could see there's a lot of difference between the three colors. And the last one that I have is called Paradise, and I'll put this one here. And this one is not as pink as San Francisco. They're just very nice, neutral, wearable shades. And they're so, so pretty, so creamy. They feel so good on your lips. And for $13, I think it's well worth the price. And I wanted to also let you know that you can buy a sample packet of all their lipstick colors. If you don't know what color would look good on you, I think it's $3 and you get a little, little sample kit of all the lipstick colors and it's on the Honey Bee Gardens website. So I wanted to tell you about that, but I am so wowed by Honey Bee Gardens. Um, I'm really glad that I found their, their products. You can purchase them, like I said, on the Honey Bee Gardens website, or you can purchase them on Vitacost too. That's where I've found many of their products and e-vitamins as well. Okay, so now the next thing I've done a whole video on before, and I'll link it below, but I've been using it all of October because it's clean and natural and it doesn't have a super long shelf life. It only has a shelf life of six months once it's opened. So I wanted to get to it. And it is my 100% pure second skin foundation. And I did a review on it. It is a medium full coverage serum foundation full of great ingredients. It has olive squalene in it, um, antioxidants, it's fruit pigmented. I wear it with my Mad Hippie Vitamin C Serum beneath it and it doesn't oxidize at all during the day. And like I said, it kind of has like a mattifying finish and you can build it up to a full coverage. It retails for $46, which is pricey. So um, I do love it though. As I've been using it for weeks and weeks now, I've just realized that I will repurchase this for sure, even at this price. I've been trying a lot of all natural and clean foundations, BB creams and CC creams. And um, I think I'm done purchasing those for a while until I get through the stash I have. But this one, I don't want it to sit around. So I wanna make sure I use it pretty steadily you know, pretty much until it's gone. But I love the finish on it and I would highly recommend this foundation. They have other foundations. You can check out their website, like if you like a more fuller coverage or if you like something even lighter, I think they have a BB or CC cream, but um, it's really wonderful. I'll link my video of the review I did on this, but I think that you would like it a lot too if you like a very lightweight foundation and it's just really beautiful. The next thing is a beverage. Kathy from Kathy's Beauty Care Chats did an Insta story story or mentioned it on her YouTube channel, I think it was an Insta story, about the Cascade beverages. They're sparkling water flavored beverages that have zero calories. They're full of antioxidants. So I purchased a bunch of flavors. This one's coconut pineapple. They have grape, they have berry, they have so many flavors to choose from. They have a ginger one that I really love. And if you like ginger, you would like it. If you don't like ginger, it's ginger lime. You wouldn't like it, but it really does help if you have an upset tummy. So, um, they're zero sugar, antioxidants, and vitamins, and I love these. This prevents me from going to Dunkin' Donuts or Starbucks during the day. I just fill my Yeti with crushed ice. One whole one of these fits in with it, close the lid, and I sip on it during the day, and I'm not getting any calories. I'm getting antioxidants. Um, it's just a really delicious beverage. So after I talked to Kathy again, I said, what was the brand again? I wanna make sure I got the right one. And she said, oh, I was talking about Cascade. So when I went onto Amazon to order a case of these <laughs> to be delivered to my house, I saw that Cascade is almost exactly the same. So um, you could try Cascade too. I think I'm gonna give those a try next, but this they carry these at my grocery store and they're a dollar each. So they're very easy 
um, to pick up and pay for because they don't cost a lot, but on Amazon they did have a case for about the same price, so I just had them delivered. I've been shopping at the Old Navy store this month. I had to get my boys some pants because they both had a huge growth spurt over the past year and I needed to get them some pants. So I was in the Old Navy store and I saw these cute tops. This one is red and the sleeves are like little balloon sleeves, like right here on the sleeve there's like a little you can see it changes the, the shape of the sleeve. And it's gathered here. And it just hangs very nicely at the bottom. And I purchased a gray one. And I also have a pink one. And I have this one. It's so comfortable and so, so, so soft that when I was wearing the... I bought the gray one first and I loved it. So then I went back to Old Navy because I had a $10 cash thing that they give you and I got the pink one and then I went back in there for some clothes for my boys and I got the red one. I just thought this would be really cute around the holidays and things like that but they're so soft and they are not expensive. I They were probably like $24 and I used, uh, you can always get a coupon online for Old Navy so I used a coupon. I love the Old Navy jeans, so I picked up a very light wash pair of their super skinny jeans, and I picked up a black pair, and they're just regular pants, um, pockets in the back, um, super skinny, and mine are a size four, and I have them in the very, very light wash too that I like to wear my pink top with, and the black I like for the red, and I just, it's very inexpensive and I feel pretty put together. And then I bought some booties when I was there and they look like this. And they have the, the kind of trendier heel style that everyone's wearing right now. These are vegan leather. I kind of like that. And they were $39.99, but they were 30% off. So um, yeah, I'll let you do the math. <laughs> but this is what they look like. They're really comfortable. I do have to wear a sock that goes up a little bit higher and then pull my pants down over the sock because this right here rubs on the bone on the side of my ankle and that's not comfortable so if you're wearing booties that you have to watch out for that but i think they're great and these like i said were 20 $39.99 and there's 30% off and that was a few weeks ago. They might even be less now. So the Old Navy store has a lot of really cute things right now. Their big big cardigan like flyaway sweaters are very inexpensive right now and um, it's just a great time to shop at the Old Navy store. So I got those and I think that's all I wanted to show you. Um, I have a lot of other favorites but there's several of them I want to make a separate video about them. So I'm just going to stop here and I hope you enjoyed my October favorites and if you did don't forget to hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and thank you so much for spending some time with me. I hope that you all have a blessed and beautiful day.